What's up people and welcome to this video guys. So in this video guys, this is the second part of the Skylanders Reign of Heroes. In this video guys, I will go a bit more in depth in the video, okay, and talk about some tips and tricks and use some knowledge which you really really should know about the game, how to become a, a better player really really fast. So stay tuned for this entire video and links to the game will be in the description if you don't already have it. But with no further ado, let's gonna jump into these tips and tricks. So the first tip which I'm gonna give you is actually, it's very straightforward. I mean, you probably, if you play the game already know about this, but you probably don't know the impact of it. What I'm talking about is the quest system as you can see down below right here, I am doing one quest right now. So why should you go ahead and play the quest system and not just skip it? Well first of all by playing the quest system you learn a lot about the game. Not only uh, is there quests but you do get a lot of knowledge of the game and you just learn overall a lot of things from just playing the quest system. And second of all you do get a lot of uh, items from playing the quest system. So it's not only because you want to learn the game, you also get a lot of things from the quest system. One thing about Skylanders Ring of Heroes which I do like a lot is that you get a lot of things for free, okay? So here you can see me jumping into while well, playing one of the quests and I'm just doing my setup right here. So you can see I'm picking my three favorite Skylanders in the game. Why are they my favorite Skylanders? Because I think they work really well together and I like how they look. Uh, so we can see level 21, level 27 and level 24. And another reason why I have these as my top three Skylanders, which I usually go to, is because they all have different roles, which we'll be talking about a bit later on. But as you can see right now, I'm using auto and two times speed up there in the corner, which is another tip if you don't want to go ahead. Well, if you're playing a stage which you already know, I can probably beat this very simply. Well, then you're just going to click those things in the top right corner and the game will play it for you, okay? But uh, it's you can probably play a bit smarter because now it's a bot playing, uh, but... Yes, okay. And maybe you saw in the beginning, I actually picked my three setup heroes as well as this Bronfler guy to the right, as well as spectators. And now you might be thinking, why do you want spectators? They are not really doing anything. No, they are not doing anything whatsoever. You can't even see them here in the fight, but they do get experience. So this is really great. Maybe if you're playing in higher tier stages and you want to go to level up some new Skylanders which you just received, just go to add them as spectators. They will going to receive some experience for just being spectators as well, which I think is really, really great. So um, by playing a lot of the quests and just playing the game, you do get a lot of diamonds, a lot of gems. So here you can see I haven't spent a single dollar in the game but I'm still able to open a lot of these packs I think this is the fifth or sixth time I'm actually opening this, uh, packs like this and you do get a lot of different cards for different Skylanders I think it's really really fun uh, another part about Skylanders Ring of Fairies which I absolutely enjoy is just the Skylanders I just absolutely love how they look and uh, you do get a bit addicted because they look so cool and then you get a better Skylander you just want to keep farming them but either way you do get a lot of gems and diamonds in the game so yeah you can gonna get a lot of different Skylanders for free okay so I opened two packets uh, two packs right there as you can see uh, because I did receive more gems slash diamonds right after that as you saw when I opened the first pack I didn't have enough to buy another one but then I finished a quest and then I was able to buy yet another one and well of course I'm not gonna do that because I want uh, another support for my for my setup. So you can see me receiving a few of them. So when you're opening the 800 pack, you are guaranteed to get one of them with a lot more cards. As you can see, Pop Fist right to get 38 cards. So that's great. So let's say I did get new Skylanders, um, in which I wanted to level up as fast as possible. You're actually able to do that by using red potions. Okay, but as you can see, I don't currently have any red potions. But if I would, I could have selected uh, some of them and leveled up in really, really fast. Okay, there's also a rune system in the game, and you get a lot of runes from playing uh, some of the dungeons. And, well, the best thing to go ahead and line this up if you have the same colors, okay, as you can see, I have just added a few here and there uh, on the scanners which I am using, okay. So, I wanted to show you the red potions who actually went into missions to see if I had received any red potions, because there, here you can see, it's a really good and easy way to get red potions, but sadly, I hadn't received any red potions by, but by me just playing a few dungeons and completing some quests, as you can see, I got a lot of free stuff. I can't stretch this enough. 
it, they are very they are very generous in this game as you see I'm getting a lot of stuff here and there another tip I want to give you as fast as you can join a guild or create the guild I really recommend you doing it and why you might ask because you get a lot of free things for not doing anything okay I joined the guild and I received a lot of gold, a lot of energy and so on, but literally not doing anything. Well, of course, I recommend you being active in the guild or they might kick you, but uh, you can gonna get a lot of things. You can even gonna request for cards for Skylanders. Another tip I have for you is when you take a look at these stages, these dungeons, you can see a symbol on them, which is basically an element. This basically means that this stage has this element. So it's really easy to keep track of and maybe you wanna gonna play an earlier stage which you played before but you think it's too easy you can actually gonna switch the difficulty on this stage slash dungeon as you see you have easy normal and hard I think this is a great way because maybe you have uh, Skylanders with elements which work really well against early stages then it's gonna switch the difficulty to hard and here you can see how basically the elements works in the game uh, we have these eight elements on the right side as well as the moon and sun there on the left side and you might be thinking this is very hard to actually keep track of it actually isn't okay as fast as you click on one of these elements you can see what it's bad against as well what it's good against and they always have two bad uh, elements and two good opponent, two good elements which are good against, except for sun and the moon. So it's actually not that hard to keep track of. You can see the green arrows down there, which says what it's strong against, as well what it is weak against. Another tip I have for you is you don't have to basically Google anything when you play Skylanders because you actually have a help menu in the game, which will help you with basically every single thing you want to know in the game. Uh, you can see belt system, you can see rooms, potions, Skylanders, everything you need to know is already in the game you just click on the left side on your character on your profile and then you click on help and these things will pop up I think this is an amazing system because now you don't have to go to YouTube you don't have to go to Google go to Wikipedia to find the information which you might need you can just click help in the game uh, very very great thing which I have implemented to the game uh, I appreciate it a lot here because your runes and stuff like that so all the information is there if you need it and I think which I have for you which I mentioned earlier is that every single Skylander have different roles and when making a set up, I really recommend picking Skylanders with different roles. For example, if you only pick Skylanders which is good at attack, you don't really have a tank or a support which can help your teammates soak up the, H the damage. So that is why you want to have some different type of setups. But here is the best tip for you when playing Skylanders. There is actually an auto battle option in the game which I absolutely love. The reason why I love this is because you do get a lot of energy when playing Skylanders and you need energy to play uh, stages but <laughs> how you can it takes a while to go ahead and uh, use up all of those energy but not if you're playing out of battle out of battle may basically makes your, uh, your Skylanders play the same stage over and over again for 10 times and then you receive all the experience, all the reward equally as you would have gotten if you just played it by yourself. This is really great if you're playing a stage which you know you can beat very very easily. It's very very great to level up your heroes and get uh, runes or Skylander cards. So I think this is an amazing way because now you don't have to sit there through the same dungeon over and over again, especially if you're looking for a specific item which you know is in that dungeon. Then you can just gonna play it 10 times over and over. It takes, uh, well, it really depends on how hard this stage is for your Skylanders. If it's an easy stage, you might go to complete this in like four or five minutes maybe less than that honestly I don't really know if it's a harder stage it can go up to eight maybe seven minutes so it might take some while because they're playing it another good thing about this auto battle thing is that it actually speeds up the battle by three times the gameplay which you're seeing under me right now is sped up by a lot because I'm editing the video so I sped it up even more but it's sped up three times usually when you're playing um, by yourself you can only speed it up twice but here you can speed it up three times which I think is really really great but guys that was all for this video thanks to come to us for sponsoring this video I hope I will see you next video guys but as always thank you for watching and always links will be in the description bye